It is one of the most controversial issues on the ballot. Should Jefferson County be able to keep tax money it would otherwise have to refund? So we're talking about ballot issue 1A, and if it passes, taxpayers would opt out of Tabor for seven years, allowing Jeffco to raise property taxes and get out of debt. Now the county argues it is hurting financially, saying it has a $16 million budget shortfall that it desperately needs to make up. But critics of 1A say Jeffco mismanaged the money so taxpayers shouldn't have to bail them out. Denver 7's Gary Broad is looking into the numbers. In a hot housing market, Jefferson County has a plan to get out of debt by raising property tax. In the process, choosing to opt out of the taxpayer's bill of rights. Tabor has a formula that allows uh, local government budgets to increase, but that formula just isn't keeping up with the cost of government in these growing economic times. Tabor is a state law put in place in the early 90s, which caps the amount of taxes a county or state government can collect. The Taxpayer's Bill of Rights is designed to keep a sound relationship between our county government and state government and the taxpayers. Frank Francona is a policy fellow at Colorado Centennial Institute. He believes the wording on Jeffco's ballot question is misleading. It starts by saying without creating any new tax or increasing the current authorized maximum county mill levy of 21.478. I've shown that language to a number of voters and I've asked them, well, do you think this ballot initiative is going to raise your taxes? And every single one of them says, well, of course not. It says right there, it's not going to raise my taxes. If the issue passes, homeowners with a house worth $400,000 would see a tax increase of $4.50 per month. In 2021, that could go as high as $9 per month based on a vote. That money would be enough to get back the $16.1 million balancing the books for 2020. And the Jefferson County Sheriff's Office is keeping a close eye on the vote. So if 1A does not pass, they tell me that it would cut about $5 million from the budget, forcing them to put a freeze on hiring new officers and also forcing them to shut down one floor of the jail. If it continues into 2021, they'll then have to shut down the second floor, which means about 600 spots for prisoners. Every time people go after Tabor, there's a lot of exaggeration in terms of, you know, how bad things are going to be if we don't pass the ballot initiative. The Jeffco hasn't issued Tabor refunds for years. Instead, they've used excess tax, rev tax revenues to reduce mill levies, lowering your taxes in the process. So if ballot issue 1A passes, that Tabor refund would go towards the county budget. Instead, reporting live here in the newsroom, Gary Broad, Denver 7. All right, Gary, thank you.